Hey, it's Kivi Maki and today I want to show you how to make vegetarian bean burritos with tomatoes. So uh, let's look first at the four most important ingredients. So you have your beans. Uh, I cook them in uh, salt water. Then uh, first I uh, put them in water for like two or, two or three hours. And then I cook them in uh, water with a little bit of salt. Uh, they're 90% they're done. They're, because you'll see later in the video why. Then you have uh, your tomatoes. And some kind of tomato sauce. Uh, you can't. Uh, you can also not make it without a pre-made sauce. Uh, but then you have. Then you need more tomatoes. Third, the the wraps. And fourth, to put on the wraps, uh, cheese. This is cheddar. But uh, if you want to, you want if you want to be vegetarian, you can uh, put a vegetarian cheese. But uh, I advise you to put to use a cheese. That is very good uh, to uh, gratinate under the grill. So uh, it's mostly really fat cheeses that are the best with uh, that kind of burritos. Like the cheeses they put on fajitas and uh, all kinds of Mexican stuff. So uh, then you have the uh, less important stuff. So this is all the spices and herbs and stuff like that to, to put a lot of taste in it. So uh, first I have... Uh, Shallots. Uh, this is called in English uh, uh, the 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 thing to to put garlic, garlic, uh, oregano. I have some uh, fond blanc. It's like a chicken stock, but it's uh, in paste. Some thyme, some uh, tomato ketchup, some oxalbion, and some uh, so, some uh, tomato concentrate. So uh, yeah, you can put a lot of things in it. As long as it's as long as it's good with tomatoes and and beans, you have no problem. I, I would propose to go for Med Mediterranean style of uh, herbs. So uh, I start with a little butter, and then I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil, extra virgin. Uh, it's just uh, olive oil, but with a li little bit more taste. Put the garlic, uh, shallots, so uh, you don't want them to be burnt or too brown. You just want to put them in the oil so they can uh, you can extract all the flavor nicely. So most important ingredient, uh, tomatoes. Uh, some kind of tomato sauce. Doesn't matter which which. Do you just have, want to have a thick sauce in the end? Like this is a recipe or a, for the burritos, you just have to have a thick sauce with a lot of flavor. Like you don't have to weigh stuff or like that. You can also you just have to taste and see it with your own eyes. Then a little bit uh, oxo. Ok, 
ketchup. Uh, this is deep. This is uh, a very high concentrated uh, tomato. You can usually find this canned. Kitchen's uh, chicken stock. If you're vegetarian, no, don't put it in. Don't put it in. <laughs> then uh, some time. Oh. I put a lot of time in it because I want to have a lot of flavor. But uh, I would recommend putting this much, this much time. Some people do more, some people do less. But uh, because of the beans, it's, it's, it's going to. Uh, if this a lot of flavor, I'm going to cook the beans afterwards. So let this cook for about uh, 10 minutes. So. Uh, now it's uh, good. You can see there isn't a lot of. It's like really n not a lot of water inside, so it's perfect to put in the burritos. But I'm going to give a little bit of pepper. Uh, yeah, I, I already tasted. So uh, if that was all a little bit pepper, that was good for me. So I heated up my uh, wrap and uh, I'm going to put my bean tomato in it but it's, it's, this is not, uh, I cooled it off a little bit otherwise it's going to be too difficult to wrap so I put it in I fold like this. So uh, I first do one side, close it, the other side, wait. So one side, close it, then like a sushi but try to roll it. Then. I've got my cheese gratinated. So I put it in around uh, 200 degrees uh, Celsius and uh, about 7 minutes will do. So uh, as you can see uh, at the last moment I used uh, my grill oven. So look at that, look at that masterpiece. Just look at that. It's not, uh, how do you say? Um, it's not the most calorie restrictive meal, but god damn, if that doesn't look nice, 
then I don't know what's not, what does what isn't nice looking anymore. Just fucking look at that masterpiece. So yeah, that's the end result. If you have trouble uh, gratinating it, you can put under a salamander. You can put a heated pan above uh, above your uh, burrito, uh, a very hot pan, so that uh, the air above it will be hotter. Or you can uh, use this, but that's this is a little bit cheating, a, a flamethrower. And I would like to say, the most important things are the burrito, the cheese, and the tomato. But like what you put in tomato, it's a very a free recipe. You, you can put anything you want as long as it makes sense. As you want to have like flavor, but not too much. You want to you want the key ingredients to be the, the white beans and the tomato. So uh, that's the video. Uh, let me enjoy this fucking nice. Uh, how you say it? Wrap of tomato. Vegetarian wrap of tomato beans with cheddar cheese. Enjoy, guys. Mmm, look at that, man. This fucking shit makes me fucking hungry.